Hello everybody, welcome to this tutorial. Here's Ahmad Nasser from Birzit University and today I gotta teach you a very important tutorial about scheduling algorithms. I know this is a little bit tricky but a lot of students have a, th this problem with this chapter and it, it, you, know, uh, you know specifically with the what is the average time? What is the wi uh, waiting time? What is the turnover time? They have difficulties in calculating this and uh, especially for the SGF or the preemptive SGF JF, which we call it the shortest remaining time uh, first scheduling. So SGF or pre, uh, the preemptive SGF or the what you call B, uh, the shortest remaining time first scheduling is very important. And today I'm gonna teach you how to calculate all the related time issues like uh, the average time and uh, you know the waiting time, the turnover time, and the finish time. So let's begin with that directly. Uh, first thing, let me just change the color to be something like black. Okay, wait a minute. Okay. So, uh, first thing I need you to draw a table. Uh, let's say here B1, here P2, and here P3, and here P4. Okay, so this is the beginning of the table. This is 0, and this is, let's say, 5, this is 10, this is 15, this is 20, 30. 35 and you were asked to find the average time okay we need the the average waiting time average waiting time turnover time and the finish time so let's try to calculate all this stuff first thing you need to begin with the process number one we have arrival time zero so we start from zero we move to one so arrival time zero we move to one so we move just one here okay because we move one we just subtract this to seven so we got seven here um okay we are here in one we move from one to two okay but notice here we got four okay so four is listed as seven so we should use we should use four to move with with 4 which is in B2 so we've moved from 1 to 2 so we come to 1 okay, there's space here we move to 2 so we are we just leave 1 this is 1 this is 2 okay this is 2 okay we are in 2 we need to move to 3 so subtract 1 from here we got 3 just one move okay next we move we got nine three is less than three is less than uh, nine so we move to the to three so from two we move to three here so now we are in, th in three so we subt we just delete three to put two so we move just one to three so two movement we subtract two from the four original four after this we got we need to see we got five here so should we move to the b4 or will we stick with b2 because we got just two here the shortest first so the shortest is two so in order to do this we just move we got two movement we just move to four so in P2 we move, we got got four movement, so we close this. So we need to delete this. We got seven, nine, five. So the least one, the shortest one is five. So we move five in B4. We move, uh, we have uh, five movement. Okay, we move from B4 to ten. So we just need to close all this cell. We have got we got five movement. Okay. So we close this, we finish with this. After that we have seven and nine. Seven is less than nine, so we take seven in P1. So we move from ten to seventeen here. So we are in seventeen. After seventeen, we got nine so we we delete this we got nine 
so we need to move from 17 9 so we will reach 3 plus 6 is 24 uh, 3 and th 26 so we will reach 26 so 26 is over here so from 17 here to there 26 okay, this is 26 I know I, I'm sorry about the, the, the drawing not good because I'm using the, the mouse so please okay we move from 17 this is the beginning 17 to 26 just 26 okay so now we need to calculate the finish time okay the finish time so finish time is easy you just say okay b1 b2 b3 b4 the finish time for p1 is 17 the finish time for p2 is the end here is 5 b3 is 26 and uh, b4 this is the finish time okay the finish finish time uh, the B4 is say he 10 so this is the first thing we end up with finish time uh, waiting time and turnover time turnover time it's it's almost the same okay but let me just take the turnover uh, the turnover time first we begin with 17 here we got 17 so P1 the turnover time uh, okay the turnover time for B1 we just in order to calculate the finish time for all these you just sum up and you got a summation here for 17 plus 5 plus this is the summation of the finish time you just divide by 4 to get the average finish time in order to go to the turnover time okay you just need to do this we just get here for the finish time is 17 so you just put 17 minus the arrival time 17 minus 0 is 17 move to the next uh, 5 the finish time is 5 5 minus 1 is 4 you know the arrival the finish time as the arrival time is equal to the turnover and the same thing we got here in P3 we got 26 minus uh, 2 we got 24 and last one is the finish time the turnover time for p4 is 10 minus 3 equals 7 okay so we sum up uh, 17 plus 4 plus 24 plus 7 okay and we got result divided by 4 because we got four processes we got the average turn turnover time okay the last thing we want to calculate is the waiting time this is a little bit tricky okay so let's calculate the total of the waiting time just P1 P2 P3 P4 P1 we start we take the edges okay I just want to give you uh, an easy way let me just change the color so let's say red so we begin here this is zero okay so 0 minus the arrival time is 0 so we got 0 we move here and subtract the last edge which which is 1 okay so one, 10 minus 1 is 9 so plus 9 okay 10 minus the edges between here and here the first one is with arrival first edge with arrival the other with between the intervals okay so say 9 move to the process number 2 uh, we have here uh, we start with year 0 we have 1 here the edge is 1 so 1 minus 1 is 0 because 1 from here minus arrival time 1 equals 0 we have some no we don't have anything else we continue with the P3 B3 here is 17. 17 minus 2, the arrival time. The first edge minus the arrival time. So 17 is minus 
2 is 15. We move to the next step. We got P4. P4 is, as you can see here, 5 minus 3, the arrival time, which is equal to 2. If we got something else, like if we got something here, okay, let's say 15, you, you just continue. You just add plus 15 minus this, th th this edge, 15 minus 10, we got 5. For example, okay, but this case we just got because first edge minus the arrival time. We got 5, we got 5 minus 3, the arrival time is 3, we got 2. So we sum up, we sum up all the results, we got 9, uh, we, got, we got 9 uh, plus 15 plus 2, we got 24 plus 2 is equal to 26 over 4. The average waiting time is going to be 6.5. So this way showed you how to calculate the waiting time, the turnover time, and the final time for any scheduling uh, algorithm. So this is the same process. Use this table is much easier when you when you do this, you know, because you be more systematic. I am a programmer. I love the systematic way of solutions, you know. So thank you everybody for watching this tutorial, and uh, don't forget to subscribe the channel, Stereo 007. We all the time we are happy to help you, Ahmad Nasser. And, and all the time, I would like to help you anytime, anywhere. So, if you need any help, please book comments, like, send me an email, or join us on Facebook. Thank you, everybody, and I'll see you in another video.